Today, I want to show you how you can create an RFP summary so that you can create a quick proposal. Also create a proposal template that you can fill out for the RFP. In my previous job, we used to create proposals day in and day out from RFPs. So let me show you how you can reduce the time that's needed to create a proposal now with AI. So here is what we will do. We will, we have one RFP that I, I have here and it's, and it's, it's for an agency intranet. It's, it's a random RFP. So I've, you know, there is uh, a, a lot of text out here. And what we'll do with the AI is to create a summary like this. It cre actually created the summary from this RFP already. And then also create a proposal template like this with a letterhead as well as uh, the uh, sections that we can fill in as a template. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, we've I've created a simple workflow to carry out that action. The simple workflow is that whenever we have an RFP new file uploaded to a folder. So I have this folder on Google Drive. So and I've uploaded this RFP here. And once it's uploaded, it, it triggers a workflow. So it takes the data, reads the data, and then it converts that data, which is the PDF, to a text file. Uh, some code involved here. Uh, but some standard code and then the heart of the thing again is a generative ai reading the rfp summary so and creating the rfp summary so it reads the in the text that we provided from the pdf we are feeding it that text that we uh, from pdf and then we are saying that uh, we're asking it to summarize that text as a quick brief and then giving it the formats and sections that we want, which is like the executive summary, the selection criteria, the format in which the proposal is needed and things like that. And then it generates this executive summary and scope and things like that, which I have sent here to a Google, uh, Google document. So the Google document here has that summary, which I showed you earlier. So it's, it's very cool that we can get a quick gist of things like what are the key deadlines, what's the proposal format required and things like that. And then the second thing also I did is I created a proposal template because there are proposal sections mentioned in the, uh, in the RFP. So based on that, I had the, uh, the generative AI here, GPT-4, I used the GPT-4 Turbo model to create, asking it to create this proposal template. And, and it, I said that it must have all the sections that's mentioned in the proposal. Uh, surprisingly for me, it even created a cover letter uh, and then it generated the table of contents and the uh, proposal template, which I took and put it in a Word document here, uh, which we can actually fill it out, send it to the team to fill it out. So you have all the sections here, and then you can actually take this further and use your organization's previous proposals to populate these sections, which is already there and, and it's standard stuff that you need to generate. And only you can focus on your solution and populating it with the custom sections that you need for this particular proposal. So, as you can see, this is a powerful solution. When we were making proposals, we had a team which would generate all these things. So we can actually reduce the work for that team and have them focus more on the custom areas or and you can focus on the solutions and churn out proposals quickly. So I hope this was use useful. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.